The Polish focus tree was essentially reworked from the ground up, so now you can actually liberate your country when you've already been beaten by the Germans or the Soviets. The Polish focus tree included in No Step Back is uh, one that I'm very excited about. This is largely a what-if take on how you might be able to survive as Poland against the onslaught of the Third Reich and potentially the invasion of the Soviets from the east. The potential paths in it are many and varied. This, this really gives you a chance to experience what uh, the war might have been like as a minor and very relevant nation in the, the tinderbox of World War II. Highlights of the Polish focus tree for me are definitely the system for electing a monarch and how the different candidates for the throne can really lead to very different outcomes and give you different diplomatic options uh, to sort of survive in between the Soviet Union and the Germans on both sides of you. The Baltic trees are a series of partially shared focus trees that we thought would be fantastic to include alongside the nations of the Soviet Union and Poland. They contain a lot of uh, different um, takes on political events in the Baltics at the time and interact very heavily with the nearby major powers such as Germany and the Soviet Union. So the uh, shared alt history stuff is the communist branch where you will either make a deal with the Soviets to avoid being attacked and invaded, or you will try to stay independent despite being communist. The individual part of the focus trees for the three Baltic nations are Estonia, for example. You can try to form a union with Finland. Uh, for Latvia, you can make a deal with Germany. And for Lithuania, you can reform the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Um, and take over Poland and elect your own king uh, of Poland-Lithuania. What I hope the player experience will be is that even though the Baltic nations are very small, people will really see it as a challenge to survive. And when it comes to Poland, I think the much deeper alternate history options are really gonna come uh, as a pleasant surprise for the players.